previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! Yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Vernon, put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next word. But I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Any trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know.
<coughs> Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. <coughs> Doors open in two seconds. trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey. Laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Take off the arm. You don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? <laughs> no. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Sounds good. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. You have to put 
pull yourself up. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. I was just, uh, showing off some acrobatic skills. Felt like a good time. Come on, Lee. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears the life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I just, I keep thinking about Duck, you know. I mean, we just left. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. Mm -hmm. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. Who knows? was full of dead before, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And out there?
Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? That looks like Crawford Square over there. some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Another way out of there? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. I'm so fucked. This roof. What are you doing? Don't get mad. The boat's gone. No shit, it's gone. Relax. Ben, what happened? They were waiting for me in here. Who? Vernon, his whole crew. Was Clementine with them? No. He seemed pissed you guys lost her and, well, they took it. They're gone. Ben, you are worthless. <laughs> How's Lee feeling? Don't change the subject. I can't believe you didn't even put up a fight. A 
Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Bandits, hey, chill, here's some pills. Vernon, chill, here's our fucking boat. This isn't my fault. I can't point to one thing that's happened that isn't somehow your fault. Lee should have left you in Crawford. Fuck you, Kenny. Careful, guys. No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am. And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they died. You said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. If they could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it. Omi. What is it? Front doors. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go!
ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim and walk in. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? <clears throat> I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. I'm just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. We shouldn't have come up here. Where else would we have gone? The streets are a river of walkers and they were coming in from all sides. We're no good to Clementine dead. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna... Depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here. But how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me. For Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! 
it's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> Shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. Like you. Go sit down. easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? What that? Now I feel it inside me, like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing about a few. This guy. What do you think? We figure out who he is. Why he's doing this. We can rescue Claire, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? We uh, gotta support him. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No, uh, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during the raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of his son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. That's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would have. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. <laughs> It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. <laughs> Take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. 
I never really thought about it that way. Did this guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Well, he can't fight for shit. Well, look at him. Hey, soft as rotten fruit. Like you guys didn't have enough problems without punching each other in the face? Yeah, he had to knock some sense into me before we met you on the train. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. seems pretty sealed off. Well... before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead.
my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Ow! Uh, I'm okay! I'm okay! Just get me out of here! God damn it, Ben! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move! Ben! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> oh god, don't let them get to me! Bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kitty! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. Saw them die. Nobody was getting out of there. 
I'm sorry, Lee. Well, maybe you did get away. I don't know. We should go. Do you want to talk? Kitty was my friend. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. He was what asses for a friend now. I understand. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time. But I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, it means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. I know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... Uh, I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Krista, you next. What are you going to do?
fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. got us adjoining rooms. You must be tired. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. 
your things there. without any weapons. Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't. I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far, I... Found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It 
doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. You'll take care of her? We'll give her a home. Why are you saying we? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad, too. I wish you wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. as fast as we can. Hey. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. way out. Through there. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know.
and all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. You might want to pinch your nose. Soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. Don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents.
thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, them. no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three.
Oops. Don't attach me to this. What? Why? I know what happened. Save them. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. Oh, <laughs> 
lifts the air is thin So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill Meet me where the snow melt blows It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again Skip and stone Braiding hair Last year's antlers Mark the trail Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us God. 